It's a look at the injustice of the past to create a more just future. The enslavement and overall persecution of black people has enriched our country and created disparities in income, wealth, and education. Across the country, a fight for reparations movement is underway, and Detroit city leaders have a message they are making loud and clear. With the announcement of the first ever City of Detroit Reparations Task Force. The group is a result of a ballot initiative that was passed by Detroiters during the November 2021 election. More than 80 percent of Detroiters turned out and supported the creation of this task force focused on housing and economic development programs. Some believe the destruction of thriving black communities like Black Bottom to make way for a highway is a clear reason why reparations are justified and not a handout. The case for reparations can be made on economic, social and moral grounds. The reparations task force will be a 13 member body. The co-chairs were present at Friday's press conference. And the question that I hope that we will answer is what might be possible now. And I'm saying time out, time out for this. We got a chance to make Detroit work for us. The task force meetings will be open to the public and residents can make their voices heard. So task force members can come up with proposals. It will just go through the normal process of proposing to council. We will evaluate. Of course, there will probably also have to be some type of budget uh, amendment to fund what that proposal is. But we're going to be looking at everything that we can that comes out of this particular task force. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.